Hello, and in today's video we're going to return to the Mr. FPGA uh, system and uh, as you can probably work out, uh, that's because I've had a delivery of something the multi-system, which is a motherboard and also a case. Now at the moment I'm having to use an OTG hub, the Mr. an external hard drive, a USB a hub, a power supply and it's a little bit messy and ungainly now. The multi-system should help tidy that up in particular because uh, I've got this nice natty 3D case. Uh, the hard drive could be fitted in the case but I'll probably use it externally for now. So as you can see, it's a sort of a PC Engine looking uh, case in a sort of PlayStation Grey. Uh, it comes with a load of extra accessories to help you assemble it, uh, including the heatsink, which is not uh, actually needed for my setup. So we're going to get everything in here, but uh, you get a nice sticker, but no manual. You have to actually download that to make sure you've got the most up-to-date version. And a nice thank you from RMC Retro, so that's great. So let's get this assembled. Now inside uh, this cardboard box here, you've got the motherboard with your SCART socket, the connectors for your MISTER itself, uh, a little HDMI bridge, which uh, you're gonna need to remove, uh, ethernet uh, adapter and a OTG USB adapter. Uh, I'll be talking about these a bit more because uh, these are a bit fiddly to be honest. So we've got a load of connectors across the back for your output and also USB on the front, but please note this is a snack connector, not a USB socket. Uh, there's also a second SD card and two fan headers. So that's really good. Um, now the memory card um, is a nice extra, although a lot of us with uh, misters already have that, so that's a little bit annoying uh, for some of us, but there you go. So we're going to have to take this all apart and then once we've done that it will fit in roughly like this, upside down. And um, yeah, that's a little bit fiddly, making sure you've got it all connected and there's some standoff holes there that match up to your mister fairly nicely. Now in the bottom of the case box, um, you're gonna have uh, an OTG USB, an RJ45. The uh, USB uh, comes either in black or white, it seems, so don't worry if you've got a different colored one. But th these are a real fiddle to fit and I think they could be better in the next version. So here's all the contents tipped out, uh, including some extra 3D parts that are going to go into the case. So very important, you remove this HDMI bridge connector, so make sure you catch that, and also take apart your mister and remove all the, the standard bits it comes with, it, including your memory card, and very important, remove your SD card if you don't want to accidentally snap it. So make sure you do that. Um, that does get flagged in the manual. Now fitting these cables, as you can see, is really tight. Make sure you fit the USB one first, otherwise it's almost impossible. And I do wonder if these could be rotated 90 degrees to face the outer edge and maybe move them in slightly. So um, maybe in an extra vision, uh, get that sorted. And these little things, they're, they're great, but they're a real fiddle as well. So as you can see, I've got all three fitted, and the, the, the two I pointed to first are easy, but this one down here by the SCART connector, absolute swine, and in the end I'm, I, I did actually have to ditch it because I just could not get it um, to, to get fitted. I'd much rather they found a way to use these brass standoffs, so again in the next revision, if you could maybe do that, that would be great. Um, and as you can see, routing your cables, got to be very careful you connect it to your motherboard and then you flip it over and plug it in like so so you've got a little gap here for this little adapter which is for the power switch and also the reset button it's also got a little slot for storing an SD card so the reset button is there and um, we now move on to assembling the case so you've got to fit a load of nuts into these various locations uh, screw on your fan so as you can see, two at the back and one at the front. Uh, the fan is a 5 volt, but can be run at 3.3. And then we've got these little 3D printed buttons that just drop in. And then a reset button, a on-off switch. So I think that's most of the extras. So here is the motherboard sort of dropped into the case and slid in. And um, yeah, this wall here could do with a bit more tolerance I think because uh, I actually snapped it but uh, I don't think it's too bad it's sort of just about holding on um, so that's a bit of a shame I could always 3d print myself a new base if needed the switch works nicely 
everything looks nice and natty. Uh, I don't think the colours desperately matter as long as you remember which way round it is and everything seems quite nice. Uh, so currently I've got the fan at 3.3 but I think I did actually move it to 5 which will make it noisier because it will run faster but will keep the case really really cool. And there yeah, this here I, I don't like this that is just really dodgy and as you can see as you pull on it it twists the the connector a bit and yeah I don't like that so that would be something I would like to see changed in future versions of this case but having said all that um, after a bit of swearing and cursing it all goes together and here it is looking lovely and SD card is um, a little bit difficult to get in but not terribly bad as I say this wall which I snapped doesn't seem to be a big problem so you've got some connectors for SCART and USB externally, uh, but I'm just going to be using the standard connectors on the back here. And we've got uh, RJ45, a USB, a VGA, some audio, HDMI, and then your power socket. And these are little hand-tightened nuts. Uh, I had to actually screw in because I couldn't get them to hand-tighten. Um, but yeah, that's a, a minor detail. And then all that's left is the little feet. So here it is, all assembled, looks much neater. Um, really pleased with the final result. Uh, as I say, a little bit trickier to assemble than I expected, but not super difficult. So we've got HDMI, power, my external hard drive, which I could fit internally if I wanted to tidy things up. And then obviously a controller. And yeah, that's great. I think we will look at this again in the future.